everybody, this is Nia Boaz Feiler. I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 27th of June and July 5th. We are in the midst of eclipses and we're heading towards a lunar eclipse on the 5th. Um, this is a very transformative time. I've been saying it so many times and indeed we are in the eye of the storm in a sense. This is the time to continue the transformation, to continue establishing the new, to continue eradicating and transforming and transmuting the old. We are heading towards a lunar eclipse which is a change of great personal, emotional uh, changes for us on what is needed for us to actually feel safe and sane in our lives. So let that transmutation occur. Let that cleansing occur. Let this downpour occur. Let these waters wash you. Let these waters wash you and indeed wash the scum and the dirt from our existence you know let us bathe in a new light let us create a new world let us believe that we can withstand these trials and tribulations let us be brave because when we look back at our action through these days we want to be proud of who we chose to be when this change, this global change, took place. The parts we chose to be in our communities, in our families, with our friends, with the people we work for and work with and whom work for us, with our customers, with our suppliers, with the network of human beings nature and animals all around us through these challenges. The 27th itself is green. It's a good day to get ahead in many different aspects. Generally a nice day, but in the skies. Doesn't mean that it has to be a nice day for everyone. Huh? It depends how it sits with your own natal chart. But the sky is colored in positive light. Sunday the 28th however is a different story it's a very sensitive day as the moon is opposing Chiron the wounded healer and Mars is heading into Aries the sign of its rulership where it would have a very long retrograde in the coming months this adds up to the aggression and the need to walk forward the need to take action thank God this thank God this <laughs> that um, that it sextiles Saturn at the time of its entry, giving it much more stature and long-term projection and, and strategic behavior and a calmer, less impulsive manner. Nevertheless, um, watch your aggression, watch your harshness, and this is a good time to take things ahead with work and career, not to stand idly. Monday the 29th, don't overindulge, um, be careful with overjudgment. And then Tuesday the 30th, Sun Square Chiron and Jupiter Pallas and Pluto conjunct for the second time this year. We all know what happened through the first time. Now it's the second time we're going to have the third time in November, December. This is going to stay here uh, this time around. Uh, from now on until uh, mid-July, if I believe. And um, transformative times indeed. Again, high time for a second wave of Corona in the world. In a very sensitive time. It is time to, do it, to delve inside, to house clean the shadows, the fears, the anxieties, to withstand to the challenges, to find our inner light and strength 
and to calmly, lovingly, tamely talk, converse, and heal our wounds and, and, and the wounds we have caused to this earth. Wednesday, very high energy in the skies, very um, special energy in the skies as Mercury is in the heart of the Sun in Kazemi starting a new cycle, a new Mercury cycle. It's a new Mercury, very much like a new moon. It's a great time for visualizing how you would like your next three months to look like, also in sense of community. And this is the time to ensue with the new. This is the time to plant the seed. This is the time to innovate as the Sun is also sextile Uranus and Mercury is sextiling Uranus on that day. But it is squaring Chiron. We need to touch the pain. We need to speak about the pain. We cannot ignore the wounds no longer. Um, Saturn is regressing into Capricorn on the next day, on the 2nd of July. Um, things can seem that they're not going as fast as we would like them to go in terms of work, career, the job market. Um, systems can be malfunctioning. We could feel like our government systems are not doing enough, that things are moving too slow, that things are stagnating again. And then on the 5th, we're heading into this lunar eclipse. So from Friday and Saturday onwards, um, until Sunday on the 5th, energies are going to heighten, really, really heighten. Um, this is a wonderful time for ceremonies. This is a wonderful time for taking a moment to rinse, to cleanse, to cry, to actually look at the mirror of your emotions, of your psyche, of your soul, of your spirit inside, the more intimate, inner, feminine, intuitive parts of us. Take a minute and, 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 and you know, just draw in and, and put the focus inwards and not on our outer exterior achievements but on who we are inside this could actually be a very fertile thing to do if we want to enjoy this time of change and not suffer from it so if you want to study privately advanced courses or beginners or you have something you want to tell me just contact me, all my details are at the end of the slide. Excuse me for my daughter being in the back with the headphones on, I couldn't have Disney on because YouTube would claim the rights. And I need her to be quiet and not climbing all over me as I'm doing this video. So yes, she is watching television. Please don't criticize me as a parent. I'm going to play with her right now. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for sharing this. Thank you for commenting. It exposes these videos to more people. May we all be healthy, live long, and prosper. Bye-bye.